Hey guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with a look at my new favorite iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S case, the Switchy Z Eclipse. Now this was uh, released about three weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. It's available in a wide variety of colors and retails for less than $20 on the Switchy Z website. So I think it's a great value and it works very well. Now this is a hybrid case. So usually hybrid cases are definitely more than uh, $20, even from Switchy Z like the Capsule Rebel. Hybrid means it combines both hard shell and soft shell all in one case to uh, give you uh, both the rigidity of a hard shell case and the shock absorption of a uh, soft shell case. Now like most Switch Easy cases, they come with a large assortment of accessories including screen protectors, uh, plugs for the headphone jack and the uh, dock connector, a microfiber wipe, a video viewing stand, and more importantly to me, comes with a dock adapter because I use a uh, universal dock in order to charge and sync my iPhones. Now let's just take a look to see how this is packaged. I've already opened this before, uh, but we're gonna take a look to see what we get inside this little compartment. So we get the dock connectors and they're gray to match the gray material of the uh, soft shell case. We also have a dock connector and I'm already using the white one, so I gotta go grab that one. And then we have a video stand, which allows you to prop up the iPhone both in portrait or a landscape. So here is the case. And you can see the case actually has an insert containing the other accessories. Very simple, one piece design. Nothing has to come apart. You just pull this out. And inside is our little piece of literature. It tells us how to maintain it, how to install it, how to add the screen protectors. We also have the other accessories. We have screen shields, a microfiber clean cloth, and a application card for those screen shields. Now looking at the inside of the case, you can see that the rubber liner doesn't line the entire case. It's just along the edges and along the bezel. Basically, this allows you to easily install the iPhone 4 and, or iPhone 4S and provide some shock protection along the edges. Of course, this isn't ideal for everybody because this hard case will may trap dirt and grip behind the uh, iPhone 4. And since this is a glass screen, you may not want that sort of thing grinding against your iPhone. So that's a concern to take into consideration. But as long as you take this in and out to clean it periodically, you should be fine. Of course, this rubber edge makes it easy to install the iPhone 4. So we're gonna snap into place, button side first, make sure it's fully seated, push down, and you can see that the um, bezel uh, wraps around the iPhone pretty neatly. With the case on, we can take a look around. You can see it has a very nice and large lip around the edge. So it has a great lay on table design, good shock protection along the edge. On the side, we have our Switch Easy logo. Up here, we have our volume controls. They uh, feel quite uh, tactile, so uh, no loss in uh, tactile feel there. We also have a very nice opening for the uh, mute switch. Uh, which makes it very easy to access. Top, we have a cutout for the headphone jack and the microphone along with a cutout for the sleep wake button. So you can see that button is not covered uh, by the rubber like the volume controls are. On the back we have a cutout for the camera and flash and you can see that black ring around the cutout which helps to mitigate glare from the flash. Now it doesn't do a perfect job because I still experience glare. So when I take a photo in the dark with the case on or off uh, you can see a difference there. And on the bottom we have a cutout for the microphone and speaker along with an ample cutout for the dock connector while we still have these bridging connectors around the speaker and microphone which adds some additional strength and rigidity to the material. Uh, you can see there is plenty of room for uh, most dock connectors. Uh, both the current and previous generation Apple connectors seem to work on this. This case also has a nice grippable texture to it. So on the back we have this hard material and the soft material. Both of them share this sort of pebble grain texture to it. So when you're holding it you don't really feel the contrast in the different materials. Now the edge of course is where your hands sort of uh, grip onto the phone the most and that rubber material certainly adds to that uh, nice soft and grippable feel. Now the edge is still pretty sturdy to seal out dust and grit. Of course you kind of have to peel it back but otherwise it sits there and stays pretty even along the entire edge. So it looks pretty tidy. Uh, now uh, of course on the right side since we have more of the hard material it's a little sturdier. But of course on this side it helps you to take the case on and off. Uh, so it's fairly easy to take on and off. Now let's just take a look at the accessories and you can see they're color coordinated to the case. So we have the white plug for the headphone jack. So you can see it matches the white plastic. And then we have the gray dock connectors for the bottom to match the uh, softer material. So there you go, that helps you to keep the dirt and grit out of your dock connector. Now more valuable to me is the dock adapter which fits the iPhone 4 with the case on. So I just snap that into my universal dock adapter, slide it on. 
and it fits perfectly. So in conclusion, I think this case does a good job covering all of the major bases. So we have great shock protection in terms of the rubber uh, and hard shell uh, hybrid case design. We have a nice grippable material. We have an excellent lay on table design. Uh, the case itself is very nicely manufactured, so this, uh, this soft bezel along the side, uh, it looks very even, doesn't look wrinkly at all. It's very easy to install and take on and off while still doing a good job sealing in the iPhone without uh, providing too much opportunity for dirt to get behind it. Now we also have plenty of room to access the mute switch, and we have plenty of room up here to access the sleep wake button. Now the only drawbacks to this design of course are the camera and flash which unfortunately I'm still experiencing glare. Uh, we also uh, have a little too much of a recess here for the sleep wake button so it can be a little harder to get my finger in there uh, but it's not too bad. But overall I'm very happy with the design of the case. It's very simple, low profile, it's not bulky, it's not complicated. Uh, it's very robust, the materials do not discolor uh, and uh, they don't deform over time so for me this definitely is the right case to get and I will be using this until I find something better. So once again, guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg. What do you think of the Switch Easy Eclipse? Are you going to pick one up? If you have one, what do you think? So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.